Today's video is going to be on LS6 intake fitment issues. If you got a 5.3, 4.860, you could have fitment issues if you run in the 4 point steam coolant vent tubes or if you want an aftermarket one. So let's jump into it and I explain to you how to fix that using this LS6 intake as demonstration. So the issue starts the reason your LS6 intake isn't fitting is not that it won't bolt on, but it's on the bottom of it, it's flat compared to an LS1 intake. I tried to put a comparison picture somewhere up on the screen. So that's the comparison photo. You see how the LS kind of got a round thing portion to it. That's another way you can tell LS6 from LS1 intakes, but you kind of got your steam vents that runs underneath that, you know, where it's kind of humped up at kind of like that but where this is flat they hit you can see unlike the LS intake one you see in the photo this is completely flat and it kind of you know you kind of can't use it because your steam vents is hitting these little little notches here these little lines so what you want to do now I'm not going to do it to this one because we have no vent tubes that needs clearance in fur. It just got the single vent tube on the front, factory 53. Is you want to take a grinder or some sandpaper and sand these completely smooth. Just the little notches down here. Don't go past it. You're not going to hurt your intake. It's extremely thick. But you need to just knock these uh, ridges down. Make it all smooth. A sander works great. A grinder does, but you can take too much off too fast. So just take your time here. Smooth it down. I tried to find a photo of one already smooth to give you an idea of what you need to do. But this is information that, you know, a lot of people have trouble finding. And that's one reason I want to make this video. So if you're having issues with your LS6 intake not fitting, if it's hitting your coolant passage, tubes or your aftermarket one then you know you need to address that issue and that issue is by removing those widgets off the bottom of your LS6 intake now this LS6 intake looks great on this 5.3 and you want yours to look great too you want it to fit good so go ahead and just take your time do your intake just like many others have done remove the widgets and you should be good to go I hope this information was helpful. Now, as I said before, just take your time. Don't take off too much. You just need to smooth that bottom of your LS6 intake out and get rid of all these little notches here. Just as uh, many people have done before us, you know. They had fit me issues. They did it before. It just, this information is hard to come by, and I figured I'd do a video on it. So if you're new, get subscribed. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. This is an intake going on a 5.3 build for the 70 Camaro conversion. I can't wait to actually get everything installed for you guys and the engine fired up. I'm excited. I hope you are too. So I'll see you on the next video.